Welcome back to Les Schwab Tire Center's Outdoor GPS, presented by Fisherman's Marine and Outdoor. Now, it's real time. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. And one of the best parts about a live television show is that you can do things as it's happening. Right now, we've got Chris Bertopoulos. He's on the water in Astoria with clients chasing some salmon around. And you will not see that anywhere else than us here at Outdoor GPS. I love throwing that in there. Chris, though, I know that you're working, man. So I really appreciate you spending your time giving us some insight on what you're seeing. How's it going? And uh, how have you been up to this point? Um. You know, the fishing this season's been pretty decent. We're catching plenty of fish. We're letting a lot go some days, like today. Uh, we've um, got three really nice fish, beautiful, bright fish to the boat, and lost one other. Uh, but we couldn't keep any of them, so we have nothing dead in the box yet. Uh, we had a, a seal issue, too, earlier. But, um, you know, <laughs> some days you get four of them that are hatchery. Other days you got to work through them, the wild ones, to get some hatchery fish. That's the only um complaint i have is there's plenty of wild ones around a lot of things yeah it seems like no matter what if you can't keep them you, that's what you're going to catch a lot of yeah it figures all right well understanding that chris it is obviously a very different year as opposed to years in the past because of the way the regs are kind of laid out the timing uh as well what would you say though if somebody were to ask you how the season has been overall has it been a good year so far has it been a slow season so far what would you call it i would say with a little more detail uh the quality of the fish is very good this year there's a lot of nice fish around and the coho that are starting to show up are nice and chunky they're they're a better sized coho than average uh though there may be less than what's predicted but all in all i'd call it an average to good year well that's good i mean Eight obviously quarters. That's good to hear. I mean, obviously, everyone, Chris, yeah. has got the time and experience to be able to make a call like that. Uh, and with a lot of things that have been very frustrating uh, this year, when you're talking about our fishing seasons, I'm glad to hear that at least at that part of it's positive. Now, the, the catching and having to release all, the, all a bunch of them, that, that's a whole other story. Uh, but okay, so where you are in the tide today, what's your plan? What are you going to be looking for for the rest of the day and, of course, going through tomorrow? Um, we're just about at high tide right now and i'm expecting a bite we it seems like it's slowed the last 20 minutes half an hour but i'm expecting something to happen here with this high tide bite hopefully it does i haven't seen a fish on in a little bit but uh it was pretty decent action when we first got out here first thing this morning um so depending on what happens here i'll move either up or down um as the tide shifts and, go, and starts going out, I might run upriver a little ways up towards the east basin and make a long troll down because there's fish here. I'm marking them. They're here. We've been catching them up until a little while ago. Um, so I think I'll run upriver a little bit after this tide change. Okay, yeah, that was my next question. I wanted to see where you were. Now we got an idea of where you are. Uh, so certainly uh, it makes sense to get up there and, and try to get in front of them uh, before they make any sort of a move. Okay. How are you fishing? Now, I already know. I can see that, that rod behind you thumping. I can see, you know, for me, it's easy to see that. So I'm assuming 360s all the way around. Are you doing anything different? All the way around. Uh, I've got spinners on every rod, except for one rod. I've got the new uh, Pro Troll e-plug on, which has oh. been putting fish in the boat for me. Those things work good. Now, I'll admit, everyone, I, I actually have a couple of those. I haven't actually fished them yet. But you have been having some success on them. Are you using the blue or the, or excuse me, the green, or the? Hey now, the chrome one been working good for me. But wait a second, I, a, I like a hoochie behind them. Now, believe it or not, Mr. Pool watches this show. <laughs> Mr. Pool, I don't have any of the chrome ones. Yeah. Then there's the, that one's been working good on dark days too. Oh, now everybody, you just learned something. All right, I he, hey, check this one out. Uh, it's tangled up. You've always got, I got original gangster prototype right there, too, black that catches fish. Yeah, also. I like that. And you're so well known for putting the hoochie on everything. Spin fish, <laughs> if it's one of those. I mean, it doesn't matter what it is. He's got a hoochie on there somewhere uh, just for that added attraction. Um, okay. Like <laughs> say, I'm sorry, Chris, I cut you off. What did you say? I, I like the hoochie. I do. I, I get it. I get it. I get it. We're all human. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so... Uh, decent season up to this point. Uh, you're playing the tide today. You're going to be heading up to try to get in front of them, work your way back through them. Uh, your plan going through the rest of the season that's remaining, which is not 
all that much. Are you going to be down there the entire time, or are you going to be making no, a move upriver anytime sooner? I'm going to be fishing this area here for about another few days, and then I'm going to head to uh, Tillamook oh. uh, after the 3rd. After the 3rd of September, I'll be going to Tillamook. Okay, so you're making a gear change all the way around. I like it. Yeah. Um, well, Chris, listen, I know that our time is too short. I appreciate the real-time report, everyone. This is live. This is not recorded. Uh, what's it look like, though, if somebody who might want to jump in? Uh-oh. Yeah. Hey! Good morning, everyone. I hope it did they did they sign a waiver? No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> uh, what's, no, it look, what's it looking like for you in Tillamook? Is there any room in your boat for anybody, or are you pretty booked all the way solid? I'm pretty booked. I might have one or two days open still. Well, I tell you what, um, I don't have my calendar in front of me, but I think I might have one or two days open. Uh, everyone, if you have that opportunity, give Chris a call. See if you can get lucky to get in there. He says that nicely, okay, because it is tough to get in there with him. Uh, and in Tillamook, hopefully things are going to be good, just like what's going on now in Bowie 10. All right, now let's hope that it just yeah. transfers over. Some of the reports are interesting. Uh, so hopefully things just pay out. or not, but the ocean now is any two fish. Only one can be a Chinook, but you can keep wild coho in the ocean now. Yes. And, um, and there's some nice chunky coho out there. That could be very interesting. I might have to come out and follow you around one day. Uh, just put my bow on your motor and just kind of follow you around, see how you do it. Good luck keeping up with me. Oh, 250 SHO, buddy. I'll pass you. I don't need to keep up. I'll be all over you. Hey, and to your camera person there, thank you for spending a, uh, some time holding that camera for us. We appreciate it. Chris, have a great day. and Good luck. Be safe, okay? You're welcome. Thanks, Chris. Have a good one. Thanks, that's Chris Bertopoulos, everyone. Crispy's Guide Service, easily one of our top guides here, and just a fun dude uh, to talk with and hang out with. Hopefully, someday you get a chance to hang out with him. Wow, that iris just blew out, or I did it. Anyway, we'll be back with Bob Kepka, a.k.a. He is bugling Bob. We're going to talk about what he carries around in his pack when he goes into the woods to chase elk or deer or bear or whatever the heck it might be. We'll find out from a true professional on what you need to have in your bag as well. We'll be right back. Outdoor GPS is brought to you by Chevy Silverado and the impressive new TurboMax engine. Flex your muscle with the strongest, most advanced Silverado ever.